Welcome to part three on this section where we're looking at double angle formulas and using them in our identities. I'm going to go ahead and simplify the right hand side of this identity that we need to prove that tangent squared of x is equal to 1 minus cosine of 2x over 1 plus cosine of 2x. Again, I'm leaving the left hand side alone and I'm just going to continue to morph the right hand side till it looks like the left hand side. That will prove that the identity holds. The first thing I'm going to do is replace the cosine of 2x in the numerator and denominator by a, an equivalent statement where I have cosine squared of x minus sine squared of x. This, so the numerator is now 1 minus the quantity cosine squared x minus sine squared x all over 1 plus the quantity cosine squared x minus sine squared x. Now at this point we need to look at the left hand side and determine what the numerator and the denominator represent. Remember that tangent is sine tangent of x is sine of x over cosine of x. So tangent squared of x is going to be sine squared x over cosine squared x and so I'm trying to simplify my numerator to look like a sine squared x in the end and my denominator to look like a cosine squared x in the end. That means that when I simplify I will replace anything with a cosine as much as possible with a sine. I know that cosine squared x is equal to 1 minus sine squared x. So I will replace the cosine squared x with 1 minus sine squared x. And rewrite everything else as it was. In the denominator I want to end up with a cosine squared x. So if there are sine squared x's in there I am going to replace those with an equivalent statement. So where my sine squared x is, I am now going to replace it with 1 minus cosine squared x. And you can see how I have stuff to simplify. At this point, I can, ha I can simplify this to 1 minus 1 plus sine squared x plus sine squared x distributing that negative through and my 1 minus 1 add to 0. In the denominator I have 1 plus cosine squared x minus 1 plus cosine squared x. Again distributing that negative through to both terms inside and my 1 minus 1 add to 0 in the denominator as well. This gives me a 2 sine squared x over 2 cosine squared x. And as you can see, I can divide out those 2's, they'll reduce, and I'm left with my final answer, which is the proof as desired, tangent squared of x equals tangent squared of x. I want to point out here that I am using 1, 2, 3, 4 steps before I get to the identity. And so it's very important to make sure that you can show how you are replacing your different pieces or your different terms on either side of the equal sign based on which one you pick so that you can show that you understand how the substitutions are working. You should never just go from the statement given to tangent squared x equals tangent squared x. That's not fair. <laughs> you have to show all your steps. Now let's look at the power lowering formulas. We have sine squared of x is equal to 1 minus cosine of 2x over 2. Cosine squared of x equals 1 plus cosine of 2x over 2. And tangent squared of x equals 1 minus cosine of 2x 
over 1 plus cosine of 2x. And we were able to show this last one here as an identity using the different information and formulas we know so far. So you could imagine that we could show the other two as well if we really wanted to. Now let's go ahead and prove that sine squared x times cosine squared x equals 1 eighth 1 minus cosine of 4x. Using the power lowering formulas that we just reviewed, we should be able to substitute a product where my sine squared x is replaced with 1 minus cosine of 2x over 2, and that was for my sine squared x, and my cosine squared x is replaced with 1 plus cosine 2x over 2. If I multiply these two fractions together, I will have 1 minus cosine squared of 2x all over 4. Next, I'm going to pull the 1 fourth out front, and that will give me 1 minus cosine squared of 2x. Remember, when I use the power lowering formulas, the angle gets doubled. So in this case, I have a 2x as my angle, which means when I lower this power, this cosine squared, I will have a 4x. And substituting my power lowering formula in, I will have 1 plus cosine of 4x over 2. And now I can distribute that negative. So I will have 1 fourth, 1 minus 1 half, minus cosine of 4x over 2. I'm going to go ahead and get a common denominator with this 1. 1 is the same as 2 over 2, just a different non-reduced fraction. Subtract 1 half, that will give me a positive 1 half. And notice that now I have a common denominator of 2. So I can pull that out front as 1 eighth. And that gives me 1 minus cosine of 4x on the inside of the parentheses. And that is exactly what I was supposed to find. And so I have proved by using identities that sine squared x times cosine squared x equals 1 eighth times 1 minus cosine of 4x.